Thank you to everybody that's continuing to make the world go round. But do you have five little fish? So tell me how many fish do you have all together? I got um, 12 times. Hi. Hey, you gonna help me here? Oh, yeah. All right, we're replenishing the snacks at the front. Can I choose what snacks? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. You don't need your shoes. It's just right there. What's popular? The Pringles are all definitely popular. So let's put Pringles there. Z bars, not so much. I'm getting some peanuts. That's right. And we'll have to st stack the Pringles, okay? Sour cream. Um, here, let's stack them in the back, right there. Stack, stack them up. One. My personal favorite, if I was delivering, Funyuns. I never buy them for myself, but if I saw them, I'd probably grab them. Yeah. Ooh, water! We need water! Water is good for you. Yeah, good idea. There's so much now. I know. Um, one more. That one. You know, I don't think there's any almonds, so let's go. Because somebody might be on like a keto, and I think almonds are okay. And you know what? Why not? We just we just put these up here, huh? We just put them up here. There you go. It's there so good. Thank you to everybody that's continuing to make the world go round. Let's go spy on them. Let's see what they pick. Good morning! Just washed sheep because she had the pink and purple hairspray all over her face. And she's just as good as new. Look who else had a spa bath. Rhino. This is me as Rhino. Mimi. I always forget his name. Do your kids give their pets any names? Oh no! I think you can still see the pink on him. Where's my eyes playing tricks on me because... Does he look kind of pink? Weird how it stayed on Rhino, but it didn't transfer on the sheep. You guys see it, right? I'm not tripping. Look who's awake. Miss Baby Bear. It's time for her probiotics. And I try to remember to do this once a day. This is the one I use, BioGaia. It's Swedish. Are you gonna focus? I'll just focus on Leah's face. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I bought it off Amazon and a lot of other fellow mommies recommended this. And when I asked my pediatrician, she said this is, well, probiotics for babies. It's great for their digestive system and it's great for um, gassy babies. Two, three, four, five. So I have five drops and then I just give it to her with a spoon. There you go, okay, just spit it out. So Judy's back into making her own salads and she's been buying these pre-cooked chicken breasts. Or are they chicken breasts or just chicken pieces? You know, I mean, I don't know, it doesn't have chicken strips. I guess it would yeah. make sense that they are fresh. Instead of her buying those from the store with packaging and everything, I'm cooking it for her. They took these giant pieces of chicken breast. These are organic, but they're still huge. So what I did is I cut the tips off and what I'll do is I'll pan fry all of these on both sides but I'm going to bake these to finish cooking off and these because they're so thin and they're the tips will be done. In fact, I probably will just eat one of these right now. If Judy wants a salad, she can take that but those ones will bake in the oven after pan searing in the cast iron and it'll bake in the oven for about 9 minutes at 350 degrees and then I put it into the fridge. I really do love having chicken just ready made, not just for Judy, but just to add protein to anything. You can make, whip up like a stir fry real quick, so it makes it way more convenient to prep anything. Add it to a sandwich, obviously set salads, all kinds of dishes. 
I added some onions just to get all the good stuff. So these will caramelize for a little bit longer. 160 degrees. I would say even 150 to 155 is okay because once it rests for a little while, it's gonna get up to temperature. Especially if you're getting a high quality chicken. Anyways, let me just go ahead and taste this. I wanna give Judy a bite too. Yeah, you can't see it, but it is juicy. Look at it. Is it like super hot? Cause I don't no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> That'd be really mean of me. Mm, so good. Basic salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Where's my Leah bear? I think you're camouflaged in this. <laughs> Because she does this all herself. You're so stylish. Your gems. Did you forget that you had gems on? I'm tired. Mommy, Leah's itching her eye. Can you guess what I'm making? Dun dun dun, dun, dun. banana bread. Oh man, did I overcook it? It makes fun of folks like me when I was wearing a mask for a long time. Then, it, you know, people say, well, it mustn't be that important. Mm. But when a president says, I think this is very important. Example, oh no, it's still good. It should mask, still be moist. So come on. Biden, uh, Dude, this is legit. What is this? Chick-fil-A? <laughs> should I feel guilty for eating before the family? Nope. I'm making, or not just making, but I'm working on a new recipe. Because my lasagna recipe was a hit on my channel. And I want to make a lasagna-like recipe without the lasagna noodles. So, I've been working on it. It hasn't gone really well. I mean, the girls still eat it. Because, you know, we try to teach them not to be picky. But I want to make it so good that they love it. So, today I'm using some fancy kind of noodles. I don't know what they're called. But, yeah, like this. These kind of noodles are from Costco. I've got some sauce here that Judy and I actually made together, and I just mix it in. You know what, it's basically like a baked ZT, except I'm not using ZT noodles. I'm gonna take half of this out, put this, put this best smell sauce, see that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff right here. This is what makes all the difference with my lasagna recipe. I'm gonna add a little extra sauce, because who doesn't like extra sauce? Just a little bit. There we go. Ooh, this is gonna be bomb. I just got a workout in today. Kettlebell workouts like the, um, what is that called? Turkish getup. So I need my CrossFit people. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm watching the Biden town hall. I'm not gonna get into politics, but I hope if you're American, now till November 6th, 5th, please vote. We need, to, we need everyone to come out or vote by mail. We've been voting by mail for a while here in Washington, so it's normal for us. Ooh, that's gonna be good. My no lasagna pasta lasagna is done. Yeah, but it's not quite what you think it is. Cause there's no lasagna noodles. Why? You're gonna like Well there's pasta in it, just no like sheets. You'll see. Go sit down. Get works. Oh wait, they're in the uh, here. They're actually in here. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Exactly. See, Juliana knows. All right, honey, how is my... Oh, New Zealand, 10 out of 10. 7 out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Hands down, 10 out of 10. That's so good. I believe them when they say that. I'm very critical of my food. 9, 100. Wow. It's a 100 out of... Uh, I said, I said like 8.59 personally. Me, I said 200. I think it, the, the pasta is overcooked. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I do think so too. Yeah, okay. mine is The flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure the kids don't mind this texture of pasta. Oh yeah. We prefer al dente, but yeah. 
I say majority of people would just Daddy? like this. Doesn't it have the lasagna feel though to it? Well, it has a lasagna flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It is so your and best it's banana bread, huh? Right mm -hmm. It what? looks mysteriously moist. Mommy, it's good when it's <laughs> moist. Mommy. That's the name when of this banana bread. Mysteriously somebody. moist banana bread. <laughs> you can still so taste chunks of banana in there. there. Yeah, it's good. I've never had that before. Just type in moist banana bread on Google and it's the first recipe that pops. I Are think you it's sure like all recipes? It's something like Janet's banana bread. And I think it's on all right. You know what? So I'll put a link down below. I can't see my American. But you already have all the American girls. No, I don't! Okay. What what don't you have? Tell me what you, don't you have? Because <laughs> uh, we've gone there three times, how could we I mean, I, miss anything? <laughs> the three times that you went, you didn't get everything? <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's too much money. I spent a lot of money at those places. I know, they just cost a lot of money. And I also want an iPad case because my throat. And an iPad case? Which one, which one would you rather have? I American think we should get her the iPad case or instead. Or iPad case, which one? iPad case. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> you need to wake up though, Leah Bear. Because we can't have you sleep in this early right now. We got a very special package in the mail from Miss Ami, aka Ochikeron, on YouTube. She's our friend that's based in Japan. If you're looking for any. Sorry. Are you done? <laughs> if there's any Japanese recipe that you've been searching, search no more. I guarantee you, you will find it mm -hmm. on Ochi Karen's channel because she's been on YouTube for, I think, almost a decade. And one of my favorites is her gyoza recipe. So mm -hmm. I yeah. Made that. What else have I made of her? She has like tonkatsu on there. Oh, she has, ooh, that. what I made for Auntie Mel's birthday. The girls and I did. Um, like a three ingredient cheesecake. Honey. I believe that's on there. Honey. Miso glazed oh, eggplant. Ooh. This is what's up. But hey, unfortunately this book is not available. This is exclusive. Oh yeah. It's a gift from Ami to us. Thank you so much. I think. But you can see all her recipes on Ochi Kiron on YouTube. And then she said this. It's like a rainbow pasta that she thinks that the girls would enjoy. So. Is it pasta or soba noodles? Oh, maybe soba noodles. I mean, I don't know. I can't. I'll have to check her message, but she did message me okay, a while you know ago. What, honey, this is what I'm gonna make next: Hayashi rice. Oh, that looks. It it's looks like, like udon. It's like imagine oh, it's like udon beef steak? and like curry, but not the curry flavor put together. It's got like a stew type of texture. Ooh, that is really cool. Wow. So it is salmon noodles. Salmon, not soba? Mm, no. So are you supposed to it's eat thinner. it cold? Yeah, cold. Oh, I think you can eat it hot too, but that is really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to definitely try this out. Are you ready for a bath? <laughs> I love you, my pretty girl. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good bath. Guys, I... I'm holding up this mirror. I think you could see me. Okay, you could. Um, my tooth is really loose. It's kind of lopsided because I kept moving it that way. Go see 
two screens. To me, guys. To me. It's almost my birthday. Oh my gosh, I'm not focusing. Wait. Yeah, it's almost my birthday. Wait, on three days. Three, two, well, tomorrow's two days. Mm -hmm. It's night. It's yeah, night. My nose just got cleaned. And mine too. And so, do guys, you know there's two, there's like three rhinos? How so, was the third one? This two ones at Mama's house. Oh, yeah. I look really tired. Okay. I look Good really night. tired. Good night, night. everyone. But see you tomorrow night night. Okay. And wait. So guys, good night.